Make sure to stay until the end we'll talk about common mistakes people make that can cause you thousands of dollars or needing to replace the engine. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair Guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having that Challenger. And if you guys have check engine light on and called P0345, stay with us. We'll explain what causes that, how to fix it. It could be multiple things and some of those. It's something that most people will never think about that, guys. Uh, and uh, you can make actually one mistake that can cost you thousands of dollars or even needing the engine replaced. So make sure to stay until the end and we'll explain what we're talking about in that video today. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here in the garage, guys, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. Oh, and in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Uh, if you need to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge Challenger or any car, you want to save quite a bit of money, get them at a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So let's start on it now. So with that being said, let's explain what we have specifically here, guys. This is a 2000 and 18 Dodge Challenger 3.6 engine, but even if you have a different one, procedure will be about the same. So what do we have here now? This is a V6 engine. V6 means that you have two cylinder heads, one on the left side, one on the right side. Looking at the engine, guys, the left side is usually more accessible. This is known as cylinder head number one also known as bank one and this is cylinder head number two or bank two uh, bank two guys okay you will need to remove the upper intake manifold in order to get to ignition co camshaft position sensor uh, multiple things such as spark plugs and things like that so talking about that now okay this is the sensor itself this is uh, camshaft position sensor uh, one bank two so if you have code p0345 that will relate to camshaft position sensor one bank two now but actually that sensor is camshaft position sensor two bank two that's right you heard me right this is two sensors in one why let's explain now and then we'll talk what can cause these things now so we have a dual variable timing that means that you have variable timing on the intake camshaft and on the exhaust camshaft in order to have dual variable timing the engine computer will need to know the exact position of the camshaft of each camshaft at any time so in order to do that you will need two camshaft position sensors one on the intake one on the exhaust side and if you pay attention guys the intake is towards where the engine gets its air and fuel from that's uh, bank one sensor one uh, a bank one uh, excuse me as a camshaft sensor one bank two camshaft sensor two bank two and if you look at it now this sensor right here guys consists of two different things uh, two different sensors one is on the left side for sensor one one is on the right side for sensor two if you have code p0345 it means that you have bad sensor right here this is sensor one but you need to replace the whole assembly now code p0345 in some cases does not indicate bad camshaft position sensor we will actually have a special video that will teach you how to test camshaft position sensor on our channel step by step so you you will be able to find out if it's good or bad so with that being said now guys okay things to check make sure the wiring harness is plugged in all the way in the sensor and that red thing is pushed in as well make sure the sensor connector is not contaminated with oil dust dirt water if the engine was washed or anything like that that can cause uh, contamination corrosion inside the wires and that can cause the sensor to malfunction Next, make sure the wiring harness, all the wires are all the way in the connectors because sometimes people will try to disconnect it by pulling for the wires and they can yank a wire out. Also, make sure the wire is not hidden by a mouse or something like that. We've seen that happen as well. Person spent so much time and money trying to fix a problem when oh, it happened a mouse in the winter during the cold months practically ate one of the wires. Now, uh, if that doesn't f test out, uh, check out, you can go ahead and test the camshaft position sensor or if you need to just replace it, we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get it from for a good price. Quick shipping as well guys, so check it out and you can save 
uh, money from there as well if you want to see anything specific on dot challenger just let us know guys okay yeah, if you want to see how to replace camshaft position sensor bank 2 we have the detailed video on the channel that will teach you how to remove the upper intake money forward and how to get to it as well hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you needing help with that uh, don't hesitate to leave a comment if you need any specific help that way we'll get an idea and we'll try to make a video when we have a chance to thank you for watching and see you guys next time